Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you another cool feature in Photoshop 2021 and that's a filter called Nero Filter and there are more than one. So this, this time I want to go to Beta Filters and I want to pick Smart Portrait. So all I'm going to do is toggle this switch and now we've got all of these. So bear in mind one thing, when you're editing these images uh, they'll be edited within the cloud so obviously depending on your internet speed it may take a bit longer or not so we've got expressions subject uh, and mask settings so let's go to expressions we've I can be happier this is me this was taken last year actually two years ago and uh, let's go all the way to 50 and see how happy I was because in here the do look a bit grumpy even though I'll, 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 I'm, I wasn't grumpy this was actually a sequence of photos me and my son were shooting just for a bit of fun just uh, try to do a test or so for a couple of things and as you can see it's taking a bit of time and there we go look even added teeth to me mm, not bad not bad but as you can see it doesn't look right it looks way 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 over the top so let's go now to minus 50 so now from happy to unhappy okay still see you still can see that it's me but it doesn't look right so like everything else in Photoshop if you go too far it's too far so let's see now minus 20 see it looks a bit more natural let's go to plus 12 let's say 12 and yeah it's not too bad I don't like it but it's not too bad so let's let's see the surprise so let's go all the way to 50 again and see if I get get surprised and look at look at this there looks this looks really awful let's go to minus 50 now and see what <laughs> that's cool I wouldn't go for this but hey it's quite cool so let's say five on surprise yeah you can add a bit more expression to the person's face and let's see anger 50 like I said when you go over the top you go over the top and this looks yeah do, do look angry but it <laughs> doesn't look right this is this is not one of those features that will be super useful uh, as a photographer but you can have s some fun and uh, and sometimes it's nice to just play around with tools and you might come up with something really special you know like let's see now the subject uh, and facial age so let's see how old I can get yeah but what if you're doing something oh, that <laughs> okay then this is cool and I'm going to leave it to as it is and I'm going to click OK yeah <laughs> and the thing is the beauty of this it's actually on a separate layer as it is so now if I want to mask something let's say my neck doesn't look right so I can just come here let's just bring down the size of the brush and I could just try to bring it so it looks a bit better now you know and hey if in 50 years I might look like this uh, I'm a happy man so let's try another photo so in this case now this photo here is me like I said it was a sequence of photos we took like about 100 or something so filter neural filters uh, and now I'm going to smart portrait go again and uh, let's see hair thickness let's see how it will look so it should just focus on the hair and it's still thinking, still thinking yeah, it, yeah, definitely thicker but I've got thick hair already it doesn't work but let's try something something here so on facial age before I went to 50 so and like I said don't in Photoshop whatever you do when it, if you go over the top it's over the top so in this case what I want to do is actually go to minus 50 let's see 
Look at that, young Miguel here. Actually, it's quite cool. I'm going to click OK. And uh, OK, then you can tell it's me. There's, there's a f always a bit. Yeah, looks cool. Didn't change much my expressions or nothing. The beard. The... But before, my beard and my hair was actually black. And I still have some grays here. That can be fixed in Photoshop, obviously. But it's quite quite a bit of fun. Like I said, just for a bit of fun, it's quite cool. So let's see about this photo. What can do with this photo? So I'm going to filter Nero filters. And just like before, I'm going to Smart Portrait. And uh, let's see Light Direction. So basically, Light Direction is it will emulate um, direction of the light so if going from one side or the other so I'm going to go for this side this is a low res image so it should be fine and I've got good internet uh, and it's connected via ethernet cable and still taking a bit of time so and see so got this the this is as it was and in here so the light is coming this way from left to right so now if we go to the other side it's 250 it's the opposite and it's not bad it's not bad I think this will be very helpful if you're doing some compositing work I think it will be quite cool to do it so now let's see something so uh, let's bring uh, facial age let's make me minus 10 just a bit younger, not too much. Uh, just make my hair a bit thicker. And uh, light direction, I'll leave it as it is. And let's make me a bit happy. So let's go for three, four, something like that. And see. And let's go. OK, and see the before and after. Actually, it's, it's not a bad result. I think this is a great feature that uh, you can start if you want to have just a bit of fun and like for a comic sort of thing uh, a cartoon effect I think it will work because as you can see you can tell it's me but ah, it's a bit over the top but to be fair to be fair to Adobe this is this is very cool this is very cool and let's see now I, I took this photo a couple of years ago and uh, this was Grumpy Santa so let's see if I can make Grumpy Santa a bit happier. So, Smart Portrait, and let's make it 50%, straight away 50 on Be Happy. Let's see if I, if Santa gets happier. I think, uh, I think it will do a decent job, hopefully. There you go. And yeah, like I said, over the top, I'm going to just click OK for the sake of it yeah one well, thing is if you go to edit and do neural state you can see that uh, right here my mustache it was actually dodging burn and you can see my expression I should have I should have just got rid of the layer so let's go again happy 50 yeah dodging burn all of this I it was one of those portrait just for fun it was a self portrait just for fun and it, you see that there isn't much detail because I actually dodged but because my beard isn't this white or shall I say this gray so let's go and click OK so like I was saying so as you can see it's quite soft in here and it's it's down to the dodging and burning and plus this is a low res uh, file because I couldn't be bothered to go and get my uh, hard drive to where this the full resolution file is so I just went on Facebook and downloaded my own image but as you can see change the expression really nicely it's it, tr it tries really so let's I'm going to just create a new layer and make just so it tries in here to compensate in here and in here the expression and you also see that the frames doesn't look right uh, the biggest problem now is I can d if you drop the opacity you see the overlapping you see what's happening uh, you see the overlapping so whenever you're doing any filter I always advise to right click 
so let's unlock this right right click convert smart object or filter convert for smart filter because this way so I'm going to neural filter and I'm going to make grumpy Santa happy again and I'm going once it's done I'm going to OK it should any second now let's see click OK and you can see even the teeth are not straight so the beauty of uh, doing as a smart filter is because you double click Nero filters opens again and you can come here and actually drop it let's say 9 I'll click OK and we'll, it will update so that's that's a great tip when you're using filters always do a smart filter uh, because it works best well does the same thing but basically if you need to edit something you can go back to the filter so just just as an example I'll go filter blur Gaussian blur just for the sake of it I'll click OK whoops I made a mistake so I double click on Gaussian blur again and it will open the window where I can reduce the Gaussian blur to, or I can even drag it to the trash the Gaussian blur so th that's the beauty of a smart filter I've got also I've got a tutorial about this so if you can take a look at it it's think smart uh, think smart filter something like that uh, and this is me so let's go to filter neural filter and see what Photoshop sees oh yeah I see something but not the face so I think this is it <laughs> That's it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Just have fun. Just have fun. I think this is there's a place there's a place uh, there's a place out there for this sort of thing, and uh, you can have fun. You know, <laughs> why not? Uh, Photoshop is not only for work, and it's for fun as well. And you can have some cool fun. I actually like this one. So hopefully, in 40 years' time, I'll take a photo and share with everyone who's watching this video and. Um, We'll see if I look this good. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.